My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. At the end of the last mission, we managed to make it to the Rusty Blade. We have gotten Pillager, plus 20% damage for the next region, and we've healed to 25%. Uh, we also have had a lot of our things undone there by the game. Uh, that you may stand just a little taller at the end. So I went back and did the respects. That is to say, because I had to exit the game between the recording of the last episode and this one. Uh, so I just had to do the respects again. I'm not entirely certain if I upgraded Battlefield Medicine last time, but I did it this time. So, <laughs> well, whoops, if that weren't the case Your prior. Your must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Excuse me, you can have a pet. All right, I know what I am on my way to get. An improvement. Take our full upgrades to the Royal Public again. And then, also here, one thing I am going to want to focus on that I did not focus on last episode is trying to get people to approve their infinity with one another by reducing their stress. I mean, look, it removed the stress reduction that I had otherwise done. This is fine. Uh, so Dart Ward, a high chance of improving infinity and a very small chance of harming infinity. It's blocked by Blundering and Curmudgeon. Lazy Eye and misses the mark. So Lazy Eye, unfortunately, is on Badika. Uh, curmudgeon as well. So, in fact, the only people who can use this are Barristan and Dismas with one another. So we'll get those two. Though their fingers be clumsy, they do enjoy this. Uh, apparently, it's not necessarily affected their relationship at all. Dang. Uh, we also have the Clotting Poultice for plus bleed resistance until next turn. We are going to be keeping Budika in the front, courtesy of having the empty sign and getting 25% extra damage when she is in the front line. So as a result of that, she is going to be vulnerable to way more bleeds than other people, so it's quite likely I end up giving her the Clotting Poultice here. It's also Pipeweed. Ah! Use on two targets, it gives them negative two stress and improves their affinity slightly. I really want to be able to keep some of these things for the next in, but also, like, is, this, is that going to be necessary? Chomp up. Um, okay, how many chomps do we want to go through here? Don't really want to give them disease resist at all. I do have stale bread. Chomp some food. Now, one thing about disease resist is I'm not certain if in this game you can have multiple diseases at the same time. I know that you could not have multiple diseases at the same time in Darkest Dungeon 1. And it looks like it's occupying a slot here where it would be kind of unlikely to be another thing there. I mean, unless they stack up all the way across the character. So, if someone already has a disease, am I now justified in possibly giving them something that would... Uh, would decrease their disease resist? Not entirely certain. I don't know if any of these actually even need a heal right now, to be frank with you. Let's have a look Spend at the provision here. Can, for wealth no longer has meaning. If indeed it ever did. So we already have a full coach in terms of our upgrades. There's an empty stein. Man, I wonder if I could have two empty steins. To the same on the character. Uh, Wolf's Blood, a distant trinket for Lusu Speed. Not bad at all. 25% of the start, uh, turn starts give yourself stealth. One learns quickly when survival demands it. I mean, Dismas, what would you be able to do with that? It's a game tracking shot. Oh, nothing. You have nothing that benefits for you coming out of stealth just yet. Okay. So at some point in the future, maybe that's an option for us. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. So Wolf's Blood, for plus two speed, is the same rarity and cost, it looks like, as Hastening History, for plus four speed. Interesting. Uh, combat start. So G, thank you, by the way, to those who told me that G is the hotkey for bringing this screen up. Uh, so it's block plus, takes 75% damage from next hit at combat start. And there's higher resists. Oof. 
I'm actually really keen on now getting some upgrades for them. Can I see my party, please? So, Boudicca, you got a Hail Draft and Stein. Both pretty good for you. Ablative, I mean, you know, I haven't run into anyone who's using Burn just yet, but I imagine I may soon. Minor Sacrificial Host and the Rat Skull, and then we get to the very back line and everyone's just holding good Garbo Trink. I mean, look, you can have the Cleansing Sensor instead, I guess. Uh... Fine. We'll go back fair, to the provision here. But fairly priced. And I think I want Dismas to have some extra speed. Dismas, what have you upgraded? It's Wicked Slice that you've upgraded. So Wicked Slice, you go in position three. Start rolling that out. It's got good crit, right? You know what? I actually think I'm going to hold on to my baubles as well as my relics. I want to be able to remove a lot of these negatives and things like that. The The baubles are exclusively used to buy relics. 35 of them would be used to buy any relic right here at the moment. And while they are pretty good across the board, uh, I feel like I would very quickly end up replacing these ones with other ones that I might be able to afford soon. That's obviously a guess. Uh, but none of them are so incredible that I feel compelled to have to get them right now. Okay. I think that takes us to embarking then. Unless, of course, we want to just get one stress off of Boudicca here. Oh, I did want to give you the plotting pulses, actually. Quitling tools. That's a, that's a lot to use for that. Lordnum can only be used in combat. No, no, I think we'll go with this. Um, let's get some slime mold into Paracelsus. And Dismas. Just empties out that slot. Okay, booty. So we must spelunk, which is clear out the lair. Uh, and the reward would be two mastery points. So you get plus 100% scout chance for academic caches and 200% academic caches existing. There's also blood moon bleed resistance lowered. I don't know if that's going to be everyone's bleed resistance or just mine. Uh, goal, we'll uh, win a cultist battle. That's quite easy to do. I really want to actually clear out a lair. So I think I'm going to do this just because I want to see what a lair is Another as far as a mechanic goes. City. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. Let's go. Okay, yeah, I feel pretty good about having the ablative still now, because I'm seeing a lot of fire. The great cities of man, ruined and aflame. Okay, so resistance encounter will reduce our loathing. The loathing currently howls. We have plus 25% flame drain, so our uh, torch is running out 25% faster and the enemies are more likely to have battle advantage. So I feel like I'm definitely going to take one of the resistance encounters here. Uh, if we go off to the left... Oh, but the hospital is the place to cure maladies. And then there's a hero shrine! Okay, yeah, we're going off to the right to this resistance encounter. Hopefully, Dismas is okay with that. Uh, I'm very quickly going to check here on Boudicca. Are you holding? <laughs> Boudicca, are you holding? Uh, have you got... Yeah, so you got anti-venom on you. We filled up on that. That's good. Let's run over it all. What do you mean, what if it's all for nothing, Dismas? You found love in this hopeless place. Ariston and Paracelsus stoking the fires of another relationship there as well. Beautiful to see. The burning pile. Alright, that's a bunch of fanatics. Boudicca will energize Barristan. Paracelsus will say, oh no. Oh gosh. Not every fight is our fight, is what we're being told here right now. This was not the end, so this is just a road battle that we were encountering. Uh, Barristan will increase his relationship with Boudicca, and no one's even sad about it, and we just leave. 
right? Whereas Boudicca will have to drop some relics in order to do so. So I think we will get Barristan to take this action. Hey, you didn't show me you were going to give me a negative. Too fast and but they're inseparable the now, and that's good enough for me. Never one without the other. One thing I do want to quickly check is... That, uh, okay, so Man at Arms, base speed is three, Highland is six. Okay, so I like the idea of the Highwayman in the... Oh, man, they're inseparable. This one's... Uh, I like the idea of the Highwayman in the first round being able to set up a duelist advance and then Barristan following up afterwards with a Rampart. But I have to make absolutely certain I have it correct. You can use Rampart from third. Yeah. So then they are effectively the middle of my party is kind of like dancing a little bit. They're doing like a, a dance dance revolution kind of build. I cannot wait to unlock the Jester. Should there be a Jester? I know that not all of the classes are confirmed to have returned yet or be returning even at all. It was all about the Jester though. So hopefully, my fingers are crossed. Elite enemies. Alrighty then. So I'm gonna take him seriously. Sacrificial is up in that back line. You've got block two. Or low resistances to bleed and blight. How the Iron Swan is not really gonna connect too much damage. So yeah, two to two, the amount of damage it has the ability to do right there. Um, and we're not even weakened. I do have the ability to start with the bleed out on the Quipper as well. Don't look bad either. Uh, not being able to use if it bleeds does feel uh, kind of rough, but yeah, that'll have to happen. Five to ten, the crit's low. Okay. So sacrificial in the back line clearly has something that I would want to race. Like I want to kill that sacrificial very quickly. I am being told this contextually, in the clues of it having block. And being in the back line and having low HP. I just don't think two damage from the Iron Swan is really going to contribute significantly to that. I don't really want to win myself at the start of the battle. So I think I will just go with an... Uh, dump. We can hack like that. So I don't know if any of these enemies are going to have a AoE attack. However... I'm going to opt to set up as though they will. Especially because now Barristan gets to hit this Whipper and hit them out of position, possibly. Behind the Immortalist, was that? Well, don't need to know, because it didn't happen like that. It's your eight. My Paracelsus is not going to kill on you. Um, I'm gonna go with the blinding gas. I'm worried about that back line. Both of you get blinded. So fire play four. Burn resist and Barrison. Good work. That ablative really doing its work right there. The fire spreads. Okay, so that's some sort of a buff. Uh oh, you're moving in the front of the party. Mm, sacrificial moving in the front of the party. Got fire on its back. I'm 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 getting flashes of Helm's Deep here. <laughs> The fire rises. Okay, so this is a buffer. These are the chumps. Amorous love is the purest chemistry. All that dopamine, oxycontin, etc. Oxycontin, oxytocin. In my defense, they are anagrams. Okay, there's one more N in contin, I guess. C O N T I N. It would have worked better if you just ignore spelling and. <laughs> Get him. I am not letting you get to your attack that does double damage here. Absolutely not, bud. Disallowed. By which I mean it is not allowed. Sorry, dis not allowed. Uh, okay, now that I have the ability to roll an if it bleeds on sacrificial, I absolutely must because I need to start getting some damage under it. Uh, so you will move in front of a corpse. Fine. We use that death blow. We fight together. Don't we just barrison and parasols? 
Uh, Sacrificial frame spreads, moves forward. Now we need to go absolutely all out on bleeds and blights in that position. Uh, it's possible I may end up... <laughs> it's got dodge as well. Rude. Uh, it also doesn't get block back every single turn. I was worried that it was going to be giving itself two stacks of block every single turn. So knocking off its two initial stacks was just going to be a whole wasted turn. Uh, but it turns out that wouldn't be the case. Fine. That's the dodge, but we've set up a crit for our next attack. Second stack of different leads. First stack of Noxious Blast. And I can even start trying to knock you back. Your move resist is really low. Okay, so that's the that's the key killer right here. I imagine, because I'm not certain that if he gets to the front, he's going to do something absurd. But I imagine that being able to push them out of position with their move resist being relatively low is kind of like... You just need to know this for the fight. I feel like I got it quite early on there. Uh, force advance, Wicked Slice. I would love to Wicked Slice way through the back line, but if I am going to crit anyone, it's got to be the Immortalist right now. Oh no, but the Immolatist. As in to immolate. Immortalist. That's, that's extremely skim reading right there. These are elite enemies as well, so they got plus 20% max HP and dealing plus 10% damage. And I dare say, I don't think I'm really feeling that. Our bolster also does have the stress removal element on it now. But I don't want that whipper to ever get more damage in. So now it's actually going to bleed out before it does anything. And then I can use my ounce of prevention. Company. Good stress reduce. The smallest Bye -bye. variable can make all the difference. Oh, so this is our final round as well. So we actually do have a round limit here. Um, some of the harder fights looked as though they didn't have round limits. And I thought maybe elite fights and boss fights won't have round limits, but this is an elite fight. And it do. Uh, I'd be keen to try and kill as late as I possibly can here. And unfortunately, what I was about to do was pretty much a plan to kill right now. Okay, so last person out, shut the door. This is a strategy that I've had for a really long period of time in Darkest Dungeon. Let's talk about it for a little bit of a time here. Because I think it's really important in talking about the design decisions made in difference between Darkest Dungeon 1 and Darkest Dungeon 2. To summarize, Last Person Out Shut the Door is a strategy of extending a battle, maybe one round, maybe just until the end of a round where you otherwise would have killed. Obviously not using your first character to, act, to kill, but trying to slow down the enemy, stun them, leave them until the end of the turn, and then deal with them as late as possible so that you can take as many regenerative actions before it as possible. Things like, you know, stress heal across the party, heal across the party, you know, trying to crit for low amounts of damage so you can stress heal the party, all of those kinds of things in Darkest Dungeon 1. I love that playstyle. That is extremely my jam. Hugely into it. However, in Darkest Dungeon 1, there was also oftentimes circumstances where you would want to lock an enemy down and intentionally not deal damage to them for 50 rounds, 500 rounds, whatever you need, in order to full stress heal your party and full heal your entire party using minor little things that you can give them, like healing for two and, you know, the stress healing from critting and things like that. The decision they've made in Darkest Dungeon 2 remove that second kind of, uh, you know, regeneration optimization over the course of a dungeon. But they reinforce that first kind. I'm really quite jazzed about that. Extinguished at last. Now the unfortunate reality of the situation here is last person out cannot shut the door because this person has death's door and also Uh oh, get behind me inseparable. Nice. Uh Nice. Woo. Suffering strengthens the bond. And also, I didn't have any regeneration Abandoned actions after that forgotten. that I could use. It is ours now. Playing cards. Don't tell me I had playing cards and I didn't use them before, right? Oh, why do I feel like that's the case? Don't. Don't do it to me. 
Oh, we didn't. Never mind. We're good. Well, not bad. Hmm. Definition. All right. The field hospital. Get your maladies treated here. Uh, sepsis? Yeah, I don't want you 15% of the Treatment time to be weak on your turn. But undeniably effective. Lazy Eye, you don't have ranged attacks, so that's great. A bright future can still yet be seen. Round start, remove horror by one. Like, come on, that's insanely good. Uh, I don't think I'm going to operate on you anymore right now. Okay, everyone else is only missing a little bit of health. Then we've got unerring ranged attacks deal plus 10% damage. I would like to do something like lock that in, but that's very expensive. Uh, fear of death and dying, if your HP is lower than 25%, then negative 25% to your debuff resistance, and a fourth of the time, you will be stunned at the start of a round. Hmm. Um, I mean, like, when things are bad, this makes them worse. Hmm, we'll think about it. Stress knitter, needing needles flying when stress is high. I haven't seen anything like that. Uh, it might be, when, obviously it's triggered by when stress is high, so maybe it's not just passive stress reduction of some kind, but it's if they have a meltdown, they might have a chance not to instead or something. Uh, Commandant or erudite. I mean, I do want to just remove negatives, definitely. We need not be defined by our shortcomings. Sprained ankle, painful but ultimately harmless. Swelling in the ankle. Uh, not too worried about that. Resolution Swan of the Bottle. Let's get rid of that. I'm actually also going to get rid of Thanatophobia. I spent all of my money getting rid of negative uh, perks, uh, negative traits here. Hoping that this results in more positive interactions between my characters and the environment, and in turn, that giving my characters much more uh, benefits. Sabai? Uh, we've also got a clotting cure, another ablative, sacrifice post, minor hail draft. Yeah, and nothing, nothing here really, um, tickling the pickle. We could laudan them. Get a couple more stacks of that. I feel like my stress reduction is quite well taken care of, frankly. Uh, I have thrown out a lot of burn solves, but I also do have a plague doctor. I don't feel too threatened by any of these. All right, I think we're done. Bye-bye, Fields Hospital. Assistance. Also, our loathing must have gone back up. I guess we reduced our resistance and... Uh, uh, we reduced our loathing and then immediately gained it back, I guess. What's the trigger for gaining it back? I wonder. No, wait! That's the lair! Oh, God. Oh, I'm screwed. Ooh. Desire will never die. I understand it, Dismas. Don't worry. Barristan got that BDE. Big Dad Energy. What did you think I meant? I bet he rocks for a moment before he gets out of a chair. I bet he sounds like a starting engine flooding while he does it, too. I bet he has a smoking jacket from the 70s that smells like cocaine. Uh, alright. Dim light. That'll take us onwards. Unfortunately, I have completely missed the, the, the lair. The, you know, the point of the, the thing that I wanted to do. <sighs> oh, yep. Yeah. Shaman in the back line there. Is a fanatic. Uses eyes closed. Thankfully, we resisted the debuff. Which we may not have otherwise done if... No, wait, we still have a sprained ankle. Never mind. We were always going to do that. It's fine. Uh, pit fighters up here in the front line. Got a lot of health. They are a tanky enemy, obviously a two-sizer. Uh, but their bleed and blight resist is really, really low. So we're going to have to take advantage of that, which is already telling me, hey, maybe you want to throw a blight out on that bad boy right now. Ounce of prevention. I mean, look, it's three stress off of our party and it's preventions for things that might come in. It's it's meaningful. Let's not be wrong about that. It is meaningful. However, Whipper and Shaman in the back line and the Shaman being particularly low health and high speed makes me think that it is quite dangerous. 
Like, I almost want to try and remove the entire field before I remove the Pit Fighter. Do I have the ability to do that? Because I, I, I didn't put this team together at the very start going, okay, so we'll be able to hit line one, two, we've got healing covered, we've got an off heal covered, we've got a tank covered, we've got an off tank covered. We haven't, I didn't do that. So, is that actually a thing possible for us? Because hitting the back line is just Iron uh, Swan right now from Boudicca, as well as Dismas's Pistol Shot. Pistol Shot being a very small amount of damage actually contributed. Taking down this frontliner has death resistance of 33%. No, we we can't make the mistake of going for the tank first here. I'm going to noxious blast the backline. Ooh, you resisted it, buddy. Oh, how dare you. Seven damage on that pistol shot is actually absurd. Extremely good for us. Uh, unfortunately, I'll be using the Rampart or anything here. Uh, you would be quite likely to still be pushed. Can't go with the Rampart because I'm using Iron Swan next turn, just in case. Uh, I mean, I could go with the Bolster. Can't hold the line. And I'm just denied of a lot of things here. You know what? Let's just throw some early damage out against the Whipper. Oh. I love that seemingly... Paracelsus is just like, yeah, yep, you know, not a resignation or I'm fine with this. More of a, yeah, this is normal. This is just how things happen. Oh. That's a hell of a pummel, and the animation's actually sick as all hell as well. Can't be moved. Ooh, can't be moved. Can't move or be moved. That actually gives me the ability to start throwing out my own uh, duelist advances if I want just for the damage. Accelerant. God, is that your third move? So apply on hit. One burn and speed one. Got it. Uh, so I really want to deny the whipper many more turns here. Okay. This Blight's going to be really good damage because stacking the bleeds up on the target. It's going to be generally good here. Pit Fighter gets two actions come their turn, unfortunately. Uh, which actually makes me want to even more so throw bleeds on them. Assuming... Oh, no, wait, it's a round start. Yeah, it's a turn start. But is it... Are these each turns for them? I want to see. Will you take two triggers of these? Uh, although duels advance on this target, takes him out. Nice. So you took four and four, you did pummel, and then you start your next turn. You take four and four, yeah. That's incredible. You start off with an accelerant here. Hey, oh, boy. Uh, I mean, like, I want to start throwing out eels and things like that, and ounces of prevention, but... I do need more damage on the pit fight, so... Stop pummeling him! You've got... Uh, you don't actually have the heal for it on you. I mean, look, I can kill it this turn. It does have death door resistance, so I do have to worry about the fact that I still have to get through that as well. Stop! Stop hitting him! He's so healthy! Doesn't need to take this from you. And another death door trigger. Good accelerant right there. Ooh! Okay, the last person to act here is Boudicca after Paracelsus, so we actually do have the ability still to... Because... Yeah, your death blow resistance is now 5%. So five, you know, any damage is almost certain to kill you. It's pretty good. Uh, so bolster would be the possibility of success here. And in fact, it is. We get some stress removal. Uh, Paracelsus now uses Battlefield Medicine for a large heal. Extinguished at last. Close the door on your way out. Beautiful. 
an inkling of potency. That's how it has to go. Some of these well-worn relics. An inkling of potency. Uh, another ablative. I mean, I might swap it onto someone who otherwise doesn't have anything better. Yeah, less blight resist, more ablative on you, I think. Easy. And onwards we go. So it's going to be time for a hero story. I'm not entirely certain who I'm going to want to throw into this one, though. The Shrine of Reflection. My ambition out... My ambition outflanked my fellow officers and soirees and mock skirmishes. The invaders came, and with them came countless fares. Worlds would never hold, mate. <laughs> Jeez, whispers. Push me even upside. Uh. Honestly, Barrison just needs more abilities because Barrison has a lot of abilities Barrison can't really use right now. Man at Arms, Chapter One: A Premature Promotion. The politics of a military career are. Perhaps as treacherous as war itself. Though untested in combat, his acumen for advancement was unmatched. Through a dubious campaign of influence and intimidation, he had at last claimed a coveted command and was eager to bask in the glory of the victories that were sure to come. Oh, not an ominous note at all to be leaving that story off on. <laughs> we picked up Bellow. We now have the ability to remove repost from enemies as well as give negative three speed to the entire enemy party. That's definitely something we're going to sub in here. Barristan, let's tag off. Well, I mean, I don't want to tag off Defender because it's deeply important to have Defender. Uh, let's tag off Hold the Line for Bellow. Okay, so the resistance encounter would be some more flame. Obviously, the cash supplies. Uh, two people want to go that way, but Barrison does want to go to the flame. How about after this? What would that affect? I mean, after this, we still have to go to a supply cache and then a watchtower and then a cultist path. Like, we are determinate after the fact. But the other paths aren't actually much more appealing to me, so I think we will do that. Sorry about it, Dismas and Paracelsus. The worst kind of parasite. Opportunists. Alright. They don't seem like they're gonna be bleeding us as much. <sighs> Trying to lower all of their speed immediately at the start of combat. Seems to make huge sense. Uh if I could pull the crack shot out of position, that'd be nice, but I don't have the ability to do that anyway. I almost feel like I want to bellow at him, but I worry that doesn't really actually accomplish anything here. Let's just throw some damage in. Um, is that the right line to go against? We'll go for the second. Just because the second could also have Paracelsus throw some extra damage in if it needed. Excuse me? That's kind of absurd. That's got to be a crit on stun effect right there. Um, I don't really want to move her further back. Unfortunately, that wicked slice is just not enough there either. Paracelsus does have the ability to clean up after that and take one enemy off of the field. I feel like I should do it. Quite a lot of proactive healing there. Eh, I say quite a lot, maybe not quite a lot actually. I'm gonna go with the wicked hack on the pillager hatchman here. Largely because the next attack is on Dismas. Lean on me if you have to. Stress for No, you got strength! Extra damage on this attack. It actually worked out. 
so the back line I would love to make blind. I should do it. It's just, it's eating into my stress reduction. And my stress reduction is eating into my you know, rolling love bug. Or my lack of stress reduction is eating into my rolling love buggy. That's absurd. Damn, look at you incredible. Aren't you just right? That was an 18 crit, the full HP amount and death blow immediate. Oh, so many benefits. Big ol' lion swan on him. That's prevention. Company. Time to bolster as well. Didn't exactly work out how I was hoping. I'm gonna take aim to get ready. Perfect. And then this turn, the last one out will shut the door. Uh, although, I'm unlikely to be able to get any heals this turn. I wonder if going for the kill is actually just going to be more effective. I suspect that actually might be the case here. Especially if we crit on it. Yeah, that is teamwork. Scavenge what you can and be off once more. and says, hold on. I'm sorry, the, the dungeon waits for no man at arms. I'd wait for a Hellion. I was about to say, I'd wait for a Highwayman, but that, no, it's just a, it's got man in it too. The joke fails. All right, resistance. Oh, not resistance, sorry, helping hand, just for few. So both Barristan and Boudicca. Oh wow, Paracelsus makes everyone else like them by doing this. We give Relic loot and we get Flame, Food loot, Mixed loot, Coach Equipment, Coach Equipment. Uh, here we get Mixed Quirk. A Mixed Quirk. What? So is that a quirk that's not positive or negative or is it you don't know whether it's positive or negative and then you get one and it's either positive or negative? Only certain. Barristan, we will trade with the little we have. A uh, similar kind of effect to Paracelsus. Same effect as Paracelsus, in fact. Okay. I'm going to throw Paracelsus at it. The relationship is tested. Oh, the love buggy! I didn't think it could be real. Little do I know. Might make his allies in the long run? Yeah, being lovers might make his allies in the long run. In the short run, huh. Apparently not. Right. A waking nightmare, says Paracelsus. Takes a stress on board. We'll slay him together, says Barristan. And gives himself a little bit of a buff as well as some HP. Alright. Karma abhors waste. Best, Best to take, take all, all you, can. you can. And in fact, we will do so. We find two smoke bombs. Trackers map coach upgrade rare. A hundred percent scout chance for less. Huge. Monumental. Massive. Gigantic. We will be using that. Stumbling and grasping. Shadows of what they Time for a road bike. Here. Oh, hello, Skull Toss Ghoul. I recognize you. Uh, still low bleed and blight resist. Slow death resist. Uh, I mean, like, I would love to get some Lost Souls off the map very, very quickly so that it can start targeting you. You have two stacks of dodge. Uh, requires the target has dodge. Removes their dodge. No more dodging for you. You are tracked. It's 
try and push you out of position. Hopefully they resist the stun. Chomp. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Morsel attacks from that line and moves forward. That's unfortunate. I was actually really hoping it was going to move forward for quite a while. Five. So this Noxious Blast will confirm the kill here if it gets the Blight on him, which it does. Damn, look at you. Incredible. Just everyone across the party saying it to everyone. All right, Dismas. Start working on this Lost Soul. See if we can take that out early enough here. That'll do. On to the next. And then removes reposts. Boss is a good response to something they haven't done yet, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy the corpse there. Mount of prevention. I'm gonna actually put an ounce of prevention on because I worry that the ghoul is about to howl, and the howl used to be able to give you the disease the worries. And uh, so I wanted everyone to have a higher disease resist there. Clearly not as relevant as I was hoping it was gonna be. Oh well. <sighs> you got a dodge set up. No. Get ramparded instead. You lacked at the end of the round now, which is good because it means we have the ability to get blights and bleeds on you at the right times. Uh. I mean, Battlefield Medicine is a lot of damage prevented right now. A slow dissection. But that Blight An takes you know, three more end. turns, so the earlier I apply it, the far better off ultimately it will be. What about Dismas? I was wondering if I should just get him in there, but no. The nine damage is more than nothing. Oh! Relationships tested. Inseparable. Okay. Stone. Never one without the other. We'll settle for that. Believe you me. Uh, I'm gonna use an anti venom on myself. Yeah. It's toe to toe. You're going to be around long enough that if it bleeds, it's going to be ultimately a better damage solution here for us. Ends up doing eight over the course of the next three turns. Skulltoss gives us a stun, unfortunately. Oh, I love that you constantly remove your own stress. It's so incredible. Okay, so a dodge is removed from you every round, or is it just after your Skulltoss that you actually get a dodge? Um, blank. The Rampart, acting in the turn. Dismas does not get to act, and then they do. So, well, it was already acting at the end of the turn again. Uh, and now, there's the howl. Everyone gets the horror. No worries. Absolutely no worries. Oh, you're going to act too quickly. No. Uh, I'm going to put Laudanum on myself. And then take aim. Because the, 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 the dies as soon as the, the, the acts. Lean on me. When you're not strong, we'll use the outs of prevention to make everyone less tense. Oh, it's Death's Door. I forgot about that. Yeah. I mean, it has two more death door triggers coming up. I still feel like I want to go... Yeah. Bolster and heal and things like that. Of that general nature. I ran out of time. I didn't even look at the, the, the time of it. I was just certain that there was no way I was going to run out of time there. Oops. That's what I get. Rubble. Tried to push it just a bit too long. As far as the eye can see. Yeah. Some burning rubble as well, so two for the price of one on those. Everywhere. In all directions. Destruction has claimed dominion. Yep. So now it's confirmed. There is definitely not a lair ahead of us. <sighs> 
But I wanted one. The lost souls of a dying world. <sighs> Empty of hope. And humanity. Mm -hmm. New enemies. We see a woodsman. Okay, you feel like you're going to give us the tree, uh, tree branch smackdown. You're two size. You look about right for it. Uh, and then urchin in the back line as well. Got higher blight resistant bleed. Uh, so I can send out blinding gas onto both the back liners. They've got relatively low debuff resist each, so I feel like that's a good idea. Failed. I'm gonna pistol shot the urchin and try and take it out extremely quickly here. Song of Shadows. Ah, oh, there you go. You've got stealth now. Oh, yeah. Of course. Well, there goes that dream. I'm going to try and push you to the very back, hoping that you are out of position being in the front and that you are out of position being in the back. Guarded, protected by the woodsman. Okay, so no, the woodsman is a protecting character for others, so I actually uh, exactly didn't want it to go like that. We'll remove some stacks, I guess. Due to Amorous, we reposted. Oh, come on. That's so cool. That is so low damage. I, I, I was just certain that that was going to be the kill, so I didn't even bother really assessing it. I was just like, you send that out. That's where that goes. Everything in its place. In a place for everything. Oh, toy, we are inseparable, though. But you won't stand against the gods. You may well need to. Lord, this fight is rough. There we go. No more guarding there. There's your extra Song of Shadows. I can't do anything to you. Couldn't do anything to you before either. Good death blow on that lost soul, though. No one to protect. Yeah, there's the tree branch smackdown. I knew it was coming. Emboldened. I want you strong, healthy. We heal someone who is very healthy. It's okay, it'll work. In the long run. Um. Huh? Can't do that. 22% chance on that crit, just gonna roll. Cooperation is the key. Okay, be directly targeted by most skills. I would love to have an AoE effect of some kind here. For helping to deal with that, and yet, yeah, alas. Take this opportunity to bolster. Trying to get a little bit of stress reduction on board. Your health is just above 50%, so I still can't get you with a good battlefield medicine here. One death door trigger, and then two of them happen at the start of your turn. I don't know if, like, yourself. two independent death door trigger happen at the start of the turn, like, trying each of the DOTs. So we're in round five for five. Uh, well, that bleed still hasn't gone through, but I do have the ability to target battlefield medicine. I think I need to use ounce of prevention instead, though. Empowered. Emboldened. Cooperation is the key. That'll work. Inseparable says, get behind me. Uh, you don't have any death blow resistance, so whoever attacks you is just going to kill you. You will just die. Um. So maybe just so there's more possibilities of triggering a relationship uh, ping of some kind. I should go through as many of those actions as possible in the end? That's my assumption, I guess. 
We'll get him back. Over encumbered. You must equip or discard items. Uh, okay. Paracelsus, are you... I mean, is everyone currently holding an in-combat item? Dismas is not. That gives me a pretty obvious... Pouch of light, clear all corpses. Yes, we definitely need that. If an enemy is stealth, remove their stealth. Chalk dust. Love that on you, Boudica, as well. Absolutely love that for you. And the rest of those look appropriately dealt with at the moment. Dang. I gotta be honest, probably the least engaging element so far of Darkest Dungeon 2 for me is the stagecoach part. It doesn't control super well. I mean, you know, that's that's subjective, but like, it, it feels very, quite unnecessary to me. It kind of reminds me of uh, in, in Enter the Gungeon, going through every room at the end of a floor because you're like one casing short of buying something and destroying every single barrel. Like, it's, it's scrounging and doing a lot of effort for very little. So, like, I might even just set it to auto-run, and if we run into things, we do. Like, it's not the the thing for me. Relic Loot Avoid or Combat. So, this is against Cultists. The Combat will give us the ability to reduce our Loathing. So, Boudicca is definitely going to want to go in here. Gargantuan enemies. A brisk bedevilment followed by an enfeebling miasma. I have the ability to remove a stealth, uh, sorry, a uh, dodge on a target, but super not necessary. Hey, can I? I can target the cherubs in the back line for that one as well. <sighs> Interesting. Um, I kind of like the idea of trying to set up a pistol shot and then. Barristan trying to use a push next turn. We do need to focus on taking someone out as well. Focusing very heavily around just removing one target from the field would be quite effective, I think, here. Uh, maybe we use an early bleed out for that kind of effect, that direction. So the early bleed out would be literally right now hitting you with the giant bleed out. There's also Iron Swan for the back line, but 25% chance to actually hit. Pretty big disincentive to actually do that one. Strong. You're gonna heal the put Stop! Let heal, you heal yourselves! Uh, I'm not against throwing out Ikabom as well as a, a Noxious Blast on the Evangelist here. Okay, so I don't think an animation for that one has been made yet. Nocturnal Commune. <gasps> you went with giant buffs! Do you have any death blow resistance? Because if it doesn't have any death blow resistance, then it just, it, it's dead already. And it's just taking a bunch of, oh, it does have death blow resistance. How dare you? How absolute dare you? Um, and dodge two rounds of that. Enfeebling Miasma comes out again. We are still quite weak and winded. Really pushing out damage there. Slow suffering Giant crit. Thankfully, we have the ability immediately to battlefield medicine heal up a lot of that damage. So let's get rid of that bleed. Here's your confession in the back line. Horror on this target. Three turns of 75% chance of getting a stress. Uh, I am going to be completely ignoring this evangelist, just assuming but it will get to its turn and die from one of those two uh, because I really don't want to have to throw a wicked slice against it here. Uh, so tracking shot would have the ability to remove a lot of dodge stacks from this cherub and then I could start actually attacking it. I like that. Uh, well, uh, the cherubs clearly aren't the worst part of this battle. Cherubs clearly aren't the worst part of this battle. We'll just set this up. 
often if it bleeds on the evangelists knowing that the bleed is the most important thing here by far um do just kind of want to thump you for damage as well I just slow you down next round, though. And, you know, not for nothing, push two people out of position. Could be relevant. Could be the maker or the breaker. Wicked Slice is obviously my best damage, but Cherry. Uh, still shot. A Duelist Advance. I mean, if it bleeds, does reach from position three to position three, yeah. So I could totally do that. Actually, the more I think about it, the more it seems like the correct play for us. Nice. Remove one of those dodge stacks there. And they definitely did not like being out of position. Uh, okay. Yeah, again, I would love to get ounce prevention out there. But that evangelist is about to take a turn. Oh no, we're having the blight would be pretty impactful. Woo -woo. Uh, again, let's try and push you out of position because we know that the others did not like that. So maybe you don't either. Not that one would have an effect on the other, but. Oh, and you've got a lot of resists. Oh, huge work, my man. Yeah, those backliners are really just debuff. I was more scared of them than I needed to be. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do any of those. We will go out to prevention. Comfort in company. I would like to go Bellow here as well. Wait, actually, round four? Round four, yeah, but there's no limit to the amount of rounds we can take here. We'll go Bolster now. Remove some horror. Get some more block up. Death's Door, trigger number one. Uh, I don't have the... Well, actually, no. If I toe-to-toe, -to -toe, I can move myself to the front and try and... A miscalculation, perhaps. Didn't work out. Uh, they end up dying to the death blow there as well. Anyway. Ooh, big Amorous. What do we even do in response? Thank me later, sweet thing. Uh, I don't even know what we did in response. Just prevented the damage, I guess. It's a rough devil right there. Definitely Battlefield Medicine time. I mean, I'd love to bellow, but it's definitely bolster time as well. While everyone's still stressed? Yeah. If it bleeds is kind of a natural follow. Wait, so winded doesn't decrease at all ever. You actually have to remove it. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I was thinking like it was just going to disappear in three turns or something like that. Clearly not the case. Uh, Paracelsus, we're going to have to deal with some of your stress using... Um, Steady yourself. Using Laudanum. No, I took the Laudanum off Dismas! No, wait, I didn't have any more Laudanum. Dismas was out of Laudanum. Hence not using the Laudanum. So, yeah, they don't have death blow resistance, so that Cherub is already dead in the back line. Falls for a gain. Comfort in company. Nice. Ooh, good interaction. I wonder if there's a cap to the amount of good interactions you can have in a single fight, because otherwise, maybe you're incentivized to stay and try and farm out these fights as long as possible, and these enemies do a relatively low amount of damage. Not entirely certain what system is limiting that right there, if there is one. Exhaustion takes hold. I'm just trying to get my headphone cord to sit such that it's not weighing on my head the entire time. Good old ounce of prevention right there. Good time for it as well. Hopefully no stress comes in from this. 
Oh, it's okay. It's just a brisk bedevilment for no damage. Yeah, the possibility of still removing another stress there. Although I'm not going to hold up the fight trying to do so. Work. Our damage characters are going to do what they do best. Do you guys believe that's damage? <laughs> Otherwise, I've been calling them the wrong thing. Make all the difference. Let's actually have a look at our loot here as well. Not entirely certain what even got there. There's... Remove two loathing! Nice. So one loathing doesn't even give you any negatives so far. Uh, disease resist from the wax inoculate. Uh, da -da -da, we've got minor protector. Honestly, the protectorates both need to go. They're never going to be used. They're never going to be more powerful than any other things. Minor hail drafts. We actually had the upgraded hail drafts as well. Minor sacrificial host. And sac no, minor sacrificial host goes away. Sacrificial host stays with us. Does anyone hold? Yeah, you are holding a minor sacrificial host. You'll take that instead. Dark impulse. It's a vague trinket. It unlocks the potential of cultist trinkets. Maybe a cultist trinket is something that has like a, a pair set and therefore the Dark Impulse will help with that. Not certain. You've already got good disease resist. Let's get some burn resist on you actually instead. Although you also have good blight resist. So you are the person who probably needs those least. Actually, let's get you this ablative and then Dismas. Let's get you the blight resist. And then going back into their items, Paracelsus, you are not current, uh, currently holding anything for anything. You can take a Lodden. And Healing Solve should definitely go on someone as well. Your Pouch of Lie, pretty important. Holy Water, I really haven't found the opportunity to use yet. I mean, you know, that's not saying it's bad or that there is no opportunity to use it or I haven't had opportunities to use it. What I mean is I have not yet found it. Uh, everyone except for Barrison wants to help people, which actually kind of goes very far against like Barrison's whole thing, but okay. Barrison's like character so far, determined by the way that he has wanted to interact with these obstacles, has been one of kind of like nobility. One of kind of like noblesse of life. But I guess his story is a bit different to that as well. Man, this freaking head bone wire. Blah. Just holding onto my neck at all times. Okay. Flare up in the back line, got some dodge on. I mean, like, Pistol Shot will remove the dodge as well as possibly deal damage, or I could remove dodge. So Tracking Shot is actually, I, I need to upgrade it or something like that if I actually want to get any value out of it, I think. Um, that Shaman also does want to go down really quickly as well. You know what? Let's advance. I'm actually also going to throw the Blinding Gas on both backliners here. One dodge and then the... And misses it. Oh, crit on the repost. I'd love to see it. I would like to see that happen more instantaneously. Because it feels like the repost didn't even occur for a while. And then it actually happens. Uh, yeah, the player in the back line also not having that dodge anymore is now like a primary target for us. Uh, Whipper, you don't like being out of position backwards, I believe. Can't do it to you, though. Ooh! Get it! I love that the... <laughs> the headstone there gained the buffs that the enemy was attempting to. Oh my god, I'm so fine being blind. I barely intend to attack. You know, you can control your enemy's actions by <laughs> controlling their actions or removing enemies that would have otherwise taken actions. Like advantageous in the action economy. Mm -hmm. 
just above half HP. Uh, yeah. Especially considering we just used Battlefield Medicine. Bellows like set up there. Really didn't leave Boudicca with the ability to do anything here. Which might not have been excellent. Stay close. Ooh, good heal. I'm going to use a pouch of lie. Getting rid of all of the corpses here. And follow up with as much damage as I can. Go for Barristan, come on. Technically, I love that everyone burn resistant except for you. You're holding an ablative right now, aren't you? <laughs> the the full ablative as well. So the person who had the best bleed resistance didn't. Uh, Battlefield Medicine, unfortunately, at the moment also doesn't do a huge amount. A miscalculation. Oh, miss? Wow. Oh yeah, because we were blinded. Also, round three of five. We have time. Okay, good. Either that killed, or hopefully it was going to move them so far at the late of the turn order that we were going to kill with someone else. Someone else could shut the door. I'll take those. Quite happily, in fact. Alright, assistance encounter. What do you need from us? See more health on Barrison and Dismas over the course of this journey, if possible, it'll work. The flame sputters. You must give hope to get it. Boudicca, better something useful than a handful of relics. Barrison agrees. Pretty much everyone agrees. They're giving us the exact same result. So, Boudicca, you can do this. Scavenge what you can and be off once more. That'll do. Uh, over encumbered, we need to make some room. I mean, getting rid of the minor blade and the minor sacrificial host is where I'm feeling. Almost got rid of the wrong thing there. Uh, storage coach. So I don't, I don't assume I'm going to be able to move, you know, like storage coach upgrade. Like I'm not going to be able to combine items to get upgrades like that. So I will remove that, knowing that I'm going to instead install the tracker's map. So we're back to 33. I don't need to do anything else in terms of inventory management at the moment. And as such, I'll decide not to. Uh, we've got one, two, three. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go to the inn. Obviously, we're about an hour in on the episode, and I'm starting to think, oh, what, what a. Where do I want to end up ending this episode? It looks like it will make it through. Oh, they're amorous! Beats. Desire will never die. Like it will make it through to the end of the dungeon neatly within an episode time up ish. I'm fine with an hour and a half of an episode. I mean, I'm fine with an hour and a half of an episode, but uh, it does mean maybe two videos a day. I was thinking about three, but uh uh. <laughs> Especially because I would have to backlog on the days that I'm off. That don't seem Happy. likely. Facing oblivion, this family has kept their honor. Uh, so Paracelsus, in fact, gets its trinket chance. Coach equipment. Mixed loot, food loot. So we get, we lose torch for Paracelsus's option is the big negative there. Boudicca does give us torch. To be entirely honest, I want to stay very, very high on light. So I'm going to take the Boudicca result. In this world... Wealth is worthless without purpose. Yeah. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. Yes, yes, you are right, aren't you? Hmm. I do kind of want to start getting rid of some of these slime molds. Like, they're good healing, but I got, like, a bunch of stale bread already as well. And I've been holding over a lot of slime mold consistently, I feel. Bear to look out the window. Says Paracelsus. Don't worry, I'm certain there's more interesting things going on inside. Okay. I 
back line do look scary, don't it? Yikes. Uh, okay, so Barriston acts in three rounds for the Flayer thereafter. And clearly, I want to try and get the Flayer down first here, especially if I can get him before the end of the round. Don't think I'm going to be able to get before the end of the round, but we'll start setting up. Uh, here's the part where I want to go Blinding Gas on the back two, because they are going to be the most potent damage dealers at the very start of this fight. Let's try and move you out of position. Oh, nice try, bud! <gasps> Beautiful attack right there. Is this a very early flare kill? I feel like this is an early flare kill because we just killed the flare. So that's... That's a pretty dead giveaway, in fact. And player. I love that we've still got the Hellion in the front line. Gonna be... Uh-oh. It's gonna be pretty important because I want to be able to Iron Swan. Ah... Uh... I'm going to take the opportunity to use Laudanum on myself here. And, in fact, I will start using Noxious Blasts. Because I remember how damned effective that was here. Uh, critting. No, again, I'm going to go Duelist Advance. We're going to keep the Dance Dance Party happening in the middle there. Fire Rises. I mean, Bleed Out is it just is correct Mist now are you in dodge is directed my boy my boy got brittle bones don't do it again uh well that's dismas almost on death's door happening there. You'll have death store triggers when you attempt to do things. I mean, look, Dismas absolutely murder that man. You said I was the only negative interaction of Am- What do you mean you said I was the only one? Paracelsus has a relationship with literally everyone in the party. Paracelsus, you sly, sly dog. That's a problem, uh, as you might imagine. My only healer sometimes not being able to heal. Emboldened. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Uh, you know what? There you go. Is the key. Pop a healing cell. I do kind of want to even decrease the speed of the enemies here entirely as well. And you know what? I will, Bello. Them. Yell at him. That another may finish the work. Let's so get three actions out first. On the battlefield of medicine, this one does manage to go through. Okay, as soon as that went through, now I'm feeling like actually super ahead. Super ahead. Super ahead. Uh, can I? I cannot rampart you. Couldn't kill you either. Very close though. That's a hell of a crit. Funeral pyre. And that, in order to get yourself extra life, that's actually super cool, but you will die for it. Get bled out. You resist the bleed. And act first. Four damage, we get to respond. Though, maybe later sweet thing. The response appears to have been not preventing the damage. It was actually a repost. It was a repost from a non-reposting character. Hellion removes the stress from herself at the start of her rounds, so I feel like she, of all people, uh, does not need to remove that stress very close to the end there. We'll take all of these, and then we're going to be demanded to throw some things away. Are we not? Yeah, we are over and coming. Uh, so three item slots need to be freed up. 
Ooh, Ica Bomb is hugely valuable though. I don't think I need all of these medicinal herbs because I have the Doctor Doctor Plague, I mean. PhD. Excuse me. Oh That's what I get for drinking soda. I'm sorry. I just like the bubbles. And let's be really absurd amount of sugar. Oh, when your inventory is full, even running over these things is not going to give you anything for them. Makes sense. Have wormed their way into the world. Oh, everyone. Oh, baby. We get plus one strength and the combat if Dismas enables us to go in here. Everyone else is just like, mm, pretty good. <laughs> A brisk bedevilment. We are inseparable though. Can you heal? Not that I saw. So everyone has their dodge chance up. I wonder, if I send the bellow through, will I be able to remove everyone's stack of dodge right now? Mistimed. Misdirected. Yep. Only one of them actually got the debuff, but I, I managed to remove a huge amount of other effects. Duelist advance feels appropriate here. Being able to take as many actions as possible, especially here in the early turns. They, these enemies sometimes attack both front rows at the same time as well, so that's another incentive behind it. A Ooh! A crit! <laughs> Lovely repulse there as well, baby. These are good crits. We're weak on our next two attacks, but if we attack enough times, that won't matter. So both of those probably Nocturne Commune on turn one give themselves those buffs. Love the purest chemistry. Hey, yay, 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 yay. You gotta practice this ethically, Paracelsus. Slice him. That'll do. That'll absolutely do. That counts. I like that I found the kind of pace for this fight a little bit. Uh, setting up snacks of repost. Let's, uh... Let's go for the Cherub. Now we've freed up the ability to start using If It Bleeds on various lines. Uh, ounce of Prevention doesn't feel appropriate right now, even though we have a horror. Because I don't think it removes that. Blinding Gas on backline. Mm, not just Gas here, feels pretty Ooh, good. I'm dodged. Perhaps. Repost. Oh, double crit. The oh, they were guaranteed to crit and you know, uh, avoid resistances. So, whoops. Uh, that healing solves pretty good, but currently Dismas is exactly in the range to be able to be healed with Battlefield Medicine, which we should probably default to that if we can. Great death blow. Hellion manages to take an attack. We'll use If It Bleeds, throw it against the Cherub. It dodges. And then I'll do exactly the same this turn, and you haven't got dodge anymore. Bleed. Nice. That bleed will get you down. Then up. Have to go with the battle. Ooh! But I needed that. But that was important to me. Smallest variable can make all the difference. What do you need, sir? You're a better doctor than me. Okay. Uh. Evangelist down. I feel like I have to bolster. So we didn't hit. Yeah, we've got crit for the next ability. Unfortunately, we are weak for the next two attacks as well. No! That's so much HP! Okay, yeah, we're going full heal on Dismas this round. Heals on heals on heals. 
please. A little Thank help you. impeccably timed. Uh, toe to toe's not getting us far up enough there. Yeah, bleed that. Oh, yeah, because I was weak on the attack as well. Makes sense. Um, still need to use bolster consistently here. Another impediment. Especially because we have as many rounds as we need. Oh, Dismas actually hasn't lost enough health. Dismas has just too much health. We'll tracking shot to remove that, I guess. Because I couldn't actually hit it from any other line. Uh, yeah, Dismas has just too much health to be healed here. Well, I mean, ounce of prevention did need to go out in this fight as well, so... Great crit! Stress heal yourself? In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Alright, so we didn't get exactly any healing. <laughs> Near the end there, but... It's another Dark Impulse. I worry I'm about to use a lot of my inventory slots to hold the things that aren't giving me any updates. benefit right now and possibly won't in the future. Okay. Two clotting cores. I mean, bleed resist is pretty good. And there's different areas that will demand bleed resist more. I think I can get rid of the cleansing sensor. And then here, light resistance, make people more friendly. Playing cards, all of that's great. I'm gonna get rid of one stack of smoke bombs, one stack of holy, whoa, actually I don't need to get rid of the stack of holy water just yet. But just know that I could, if I wanted to. Dismas says, a waking nightmare, and everyone heals in response. A party full of masochists. I don't know who's driving, but they've had a couple. Oblivion's Rampart. Back to battle. Okay, we know you. We know what that is. We know how to deal as well. How well? Because the play is pretty rough too. Play being in the front position is not awful though. It seemed like it took a shot and then tried to move backwards, but that's just more assistance for sacrificial being able to move forwards. Second attack against it would be Boudica trying to Iron Swan. It, it does nothing except move forward. I think I'm going to target the Shaman in position three first. Uh, do I want to set up a repast? Yes. Especially because I'm attacking before Barristan. It's closed. What do you mean, eyes? It's not necessary plural there, my man. Uh, don't want to start with the bleed out because the winded lasts the entire round. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Fight you back. Or not. Just to the end of the turn, I guess. Okay. Uh, it's got to be Noxious Blast and the person who hasn't taken their turn yet this round. Never mind. Okay. Boudicca is not actually going to be able to get bleed out unless she's in position two or three. So. Uh oh. Oh boy. There's another Noxious Blast for you. Or damage at the start of a couple rounds. Flame spreads, you've moved forward again. Oh no. Oh wait, no, oh no. No, oh no. We just rampart you. That's what we do. That's how that goes. I think it's dead. Shaman Ignites gives itself 4 HP. That's it. 
Blazing Aegis. Oh, so you've got it now. Calculation, yep. perhaps. Yep. Yeah, that would that was the worst. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, uh, because I know what's gonna happen now. Uh. There you go. You're no longer blocked. Blazing Aegis, you set up on the front line now. You can't use it sequentially against the same target. That seems like it tried to crit. Oh, it was a crit, but it still got reduced in damage. So it didn't say crit on screen. Weirdly. Noxious Blast is exactly what we need in here. And then a Rampart next round. Thank you. Woo! What's that necessary? Flame spreads. Are you going to heal yourself? No? Is anyone else going to heal you? Also, no. All right. It is now dead. You don't have death by resist yet. So four, you're dead before the end of the round. Uh, time for us to start hacking away at the rest of them. I should probably battlefield medicine myself right now, though. Paracelsus. Need to start pushing through those. Can make all the difference. Largely done by now. You ignited, gave yourself some extra HP. Looked like that also maybe gave you another ability immediately afterwards. Another attack immediately afterwards. Uh, so you do have repost on you. I can bellow that off of you. Not gonna have time to do that before you can do it, but I could have. Just want you to know. Well within my tool continues. Ounce of prevention. I feel like I'm gonna need to use that a bit later. No? Okay. Maybe I was wrong. Definitely want you to act as slow as possible in the next round. Didn't manage to get it. Uh... Yeah, I was worried that was going to happen, but I had to start it. Wait, is this a lair? No, this is the Guardian. But I can advance. Let's do it. I need to... I don't know if any of... If the rewards are going to get better to the point of actually being worth it at any point, but... So... Is it three? I can fight three here? Is that what's being indicated to me up there on the top left? No, the top set. Um, but the thing of which I am more certain is that we need to get that flare as soon as we possibly can. We can tank in four. Uh, we can hack in five. Oh, that's not... Didn't actually heal that one. Oh, round one kill, and it wasn't even in my own turn. Development. We take those. Blinding gas on both of those backliners doesn't seem too bad. Obviously, the whipper there getting a little bit of noxious blast, though, this early. Quite impactful. I don't want to push the Whipper with a Rampart, because if I do that, obviously there's the possibility of... Uh, there's the possibility of the fire person moving too close to the front and problems occurring. Yeah, but also now I don't have the ability to hit that unit. Uh, start trying to take out the... Immolist? When you're not strong, I'll be your friend. Uh, let's throw a... Nah, no. Follow our own path. 
of those noxious blasts there against the front line. Eight, and you are on 12. Okay, so I do need to get Boudicca out of the direct front, which tends to insist that maybe Idealist advance here. That was too little damage, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just too little damage. Not ideal. I'm gonna go for the bolster, removes my own vulnerability, give some extra armor to him, possibly could healed up a little. Mm. Oh, perfect. Yeah, attack the person. You can't even move now? It's great. I can send out ramparts constantly without changing uh, super important positionings here. Yeah, Dismas doesn't actually want to be the person in the front line right now. But it also can't be Boudicca. That's unfortunate. Puts them out of position for my own blinding gas. Sorry, my own blinding gas, my own noxious boss. I can blinding gas. I will. Good repulse, is that enough for us to be able to... No, we still don't have the ability to heal yet. The smallest Slow. Can make all the difference. Yeah, 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 it's friend. Don't act at the start of this round, though. Leaving the so hits back. Why? Ooh, both of those get blinded. Not what I was expecting to see, frankly. Uh, so that Fnatic has no death low resist and only has two health, which means they are already dead. And that Immolist... Uh, do you have any death low resist? Yes, you do. Okay, that Immolist might not be dead. Um, but I think we will treat it as though the Immolist is... Everyone else take kind of healing action, sir. So. Uh, definitely Battlefield Medicine. The extra 10 health on Dismas. Extinguished at last. The death low. Now I'm gonna give it a go. That's our trigger for number one. And number two with the bleed at the start of the turn kills them. So the next pickup. Ooh. So this is what they're talking about in terms of the cultist trinkets. Snap judgment, unforgettable trinket. If dark impulse is equipped, plus seven speed. So it takes both of your slots to give you plus seven speed. That's, that's cool. Uh, and there will be characters I have that will ultimately want that. We're gonna push. Okay. Hello, Deacon. Cosmic Deacon. We can also see that we've now got one more of those triggers up there on the top left. So that would tend to say that we were correct. Uh, that we will have a maximum of three battles in. I've learned previously the cherubs aren't that bad, but obviously the Deacon's very healthy. I just want to throw damage at you. Separate pass. Repost is good. Reposts is good. Face your confession. We'll take that horror on the back line. Do the game. Sightless miasma. Make his mind of mine alone. Did that break their relationship? Like, it looks like the relationship's disappearing at the end of that. You buffed yourself for melee attacks 50% less damage taken. We reposted because we're inseparable, saying not on my watch, but you still will take 18 damage. Oh, there you go. No! You're inseparable, so you don't take damage, but then also, what did you do in response? You stressed out because she got hit? Okay, so sometimes we're getting negative results from positive relationships triggering. Obviously, Amorous is an example of that having been an issue. We saw Amorous give a blue tint to itself to demonstrate that it's having a negative effect. But sometimes I think what we're seeing here is other relationships, like Inseparable, having a negative effect but not showing themselves as blue. Early access. Things like this are going to abound. I'm, I take no issue with it, to be clear. Exalting, unspeakable cosmic forces. A 
little help impeccably timed. I'm going to exclusively use you to bleed out. Uh, okay, we can fail to do that bleed out. Failing to hit a lot of those. I'm gonna yell at him about it. Hey, great job to the point off. Yeah, it's fresh reduction. That'll do. I can move you out of your if it bleeds position. But no, I'm just leaving you there to continue trying to do that until it does actually, in factually, bleeds. I take that. Keeping me out against the front line as well. Even more weakness. That's fine. You are just there to get bleed out on the targets. Um, I say that's fine, obviously. It's not good. Remove the horror as well as get a stress off of ourselves with that laundom there. I mean, you know, ass protection is not bad. Never is, but absolutely must try and get some blight on this target. Thank you. Finally, some. Um, also a gain available to us. Defender even as well. Go with the rampart. Nice. Unfortunately, that does actually mean the bleed out. Can't hit the right target. Oh, God. Uh, didn't think that one through. Find this one against the back. Set up a bleed out here. Twenty-five percent chance to actually even hit. Oh, uh, whoops. Yeah, that wasn't great. Uh, three damage on a chair. Steady yourself. We created a response to you at least. A brilliant conclusion. No one's allowed to move anymore! That's a pretty good worship. I'm gonna fire the three to seven damage here rather than try and move forward and give myself another sacrifice. Yeah, this last fight is definitely the hardest. Um, I kind of want to throw a healing salve out for safety's sake, you know? Crush wouldn't be bad. I can't actually move forward even if I try and rampart right now, but I do want to try and get this guy on death's door and start, you know, the death's door triggers as soon as possible here. There you're on death's door. Deathloaf. Beautiful. Will overcome hey! Even the greatest of threats. You too. Pipe down, or I'm gonna have to give you laudanum. Okay, hang on. Words. I may not have disincentivized exactly as I was attempting to there. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Ooh, good dodge, setting up with the ability to crit. Actually, we are also blind. But that means we're just even more likely to crit afterwards. Uh, let's try and move you to the end of the turn so I have the ability to possibly kill you before you actually resolve anything here. Missed. But that rat skull. Some bleed. Yeah. We had to expect that. They're both taking their actions at the start of this fight. So this turn, rather. Dismiss is below half HP, so I do have a Battlefield Medicine target. Great death blow. Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. Well, I mean, I'm in crit one of these days. What is wrong? Why is it only her as well? Lazy Eye? Is Lazy Eye giving you some a special interaction here? Or is it just like it's common enough that I'm not healing, I guess, the Hellion? Uh, 
<laughs> this actually does want that. Yeah, exactly. I'm so winded. Good. I was not going to be able to heal again this round. I hope there's more where that came from. There will be! Thank you! That's the positive interaction I was looking for. Don't look in your neighbor's cup to see if you have as much of them, as much love as they do. Look in their cup to see if they have enough love. That's... Well, I was always told. Excellent work. One less obstacle in our path. That worked well. We get all of the trinkets we could possibly ask for. Uh, and yes, of course, we will be ridiculously overstuffed now as a result. So, combat items. Let's get rid of an anti venom. I think it's about time for that. Ichabom's really good. Burn salve. Don't need another stack of. So it's holding those at the moment. Some of those at least. Holy water. I don't want to get rid of holy water because it feels like that's going to be relevant. Medicinal herbs is always relevant, but I mean, I can get rid of that, especially because I've got battlefield medicine already upgraded as well. Um, do, Wait, can I cash in my mastery now and upgrade people's abilities? No. No, of course not. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, okay, so we got to one hour and 41 minutes here. <sighs> Remember when we got to an hour and I was like, okay, yeah, this is a reasonable length. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> oh, fun times. Hmm. Okay, it's time to get a holy water out of here. We can't be so precious about those and the smoke bomb as well. I don't need the stress removal of, of Whitling tools. Largely because I have so many other stress removal options when we get back there that I need to use just to get positive relationship affinity. Well, so when I say just to get positive relationship affinity, all of these people absolutely love one another and they've got great relationships. Say Boudica and Paracelsus at the moment. So giving them positive relationship interactions might not even be necessary either. Like, I might be currently holding onto a bunch of in items that are entirely useless because I was optimizing around moving a relationship past Amorous. So I, I don't know how I was intending to move them past Amorous. Like, you know, from Amorous to Yamito Karo. Like, <laughs> you will move exclusively as one flesh. Although I guess that's the inseparable. We already have that on other people. Now, because... Lower your guard. Soften your gaze. It is safe here. Uh, because we found out at the intersection between the last episode and this episode that if I advance any of these, but then don't record another episode immediately, it won't get saved, uh, I'm going to instead change the format to doing all of my in-interactions at the very start. Very similar to how Darkest Dungeon 1 used to be for the channel as well. Doing all my interactions at the start interactions it's just interactions with an end added in there just for fun you know we like to have fun um yeah i'm just gonna be doing those at the start of the episode and then moving on from there so instead here i will just have a look at the quirks we have picked up paracelsus picked up sanguine wait lost sanguine and picked up generous i want to give one to ask of them i thought you had sanguine <gasps> tough and iron constitution both on boudica that's a gigantic amount of increase. 13 extra health from those two quirks. Massive. A peacemaker. 30% extra chance of positive affinity changes. And there we got our sanguine. That's lowest stress on Dismas. Everyone seems to have gotten a huge positive result. Maybe because everything went so well for us there. I don't know entirely, but... That seems like the kind of thing I'm going to be finding out over the course of the series. My name is Rhapsody and the name of the game has been Darkest Dungeon 2. There is a playlist up on that top left where all of my content on the game, past, present, and future, streaming past. Now are the names of the people so generously supporting the Republic over on patreon.com slash Rhapsody plays at or above the $10 tier. And a special thanks this episode to Jazzy. Hopefully you'll all be enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you all next time.